Don't be surprised if I tell you this. One of the best roles in an attacking system is a defensive duty called the inverted fullback. In previous editions of the game, whenever we played with a 4-2-3-1 or a 4-3-3, we sought to push those wingbacks up and attack. This would always leave us vulnerable down those channels to counter attacks, which makes the 4-3-3 sometimes a bit harder to play with. But on FM24, the 4-3-3 has become one of the strongest tactics in the game simply because of the use of the inverted fullback. Here we've got two inverted fullbacks, one on the left flank, one on the right flank. Notice how the half channel is protected. This is the same area where you'll typically find teams attacking you if you use a 4-3-3 with attacking wingbacks. Here we're defending the ball. You can see my two inverted fullbacks. They're both in this position. As the opposition try to attack us, they try to play the ball to their winger or Inverted fullback gets onto the ball, drives into the area, and then scores a goal. It gets even more interesting when you use an overlap and you hard tackle the opposition winger. Here, our inverted fullback has been told to hard tackle this player. They're playing the ball forward. Notice, because they overlap, his initial position is always going to be slightly higher, but he's going to be stepping into this player as the moment he gets the ball. Boom. He goes in, he tries again, and then this time, he wins the ball back, hard tackles the guy, and we are off on another attack. The positioning these inverted fullbacks take is really good because here you've got this uh, wedge set up. The inverted fullbacks positioning here allows us to protect this entire channel. Look at the left side, it's the same thing. We're able to push him forward. He plays the pass, gets others involved into play. And at all times, we can create a nice 3-2 or a 3-1 configuration. If you're after the 3-1-6 or the 3-2-5, you definitely have to think about using the inverted fullback in your systems because these guys are even better than using wide central defenders. I'm a big fan of using the inverted fullback in a 4-3-3 because it gives us a wedge 3 in defense and it allows us to actually attack with more rules in the final third because we're defensively solid. Here, you can see how I set it up. We got two, we got two wingers. We're going to advance forward. The CM on attack. No PIs are being used in this tactic in case you're wondering. We got an inverted fullback here. We got Libero, another inverted fullback, a roaming playmaker. And the only difference is we're using two overlap instructions. Yes, and I am a huge fan of the whole shape instruction. If you're familiar with my Orion tactic, now this is a version that's slightly different where I leverage off the fact that these guys are very good at forming a three. Here I've got an inverted fullback, another inverted fullback here, but here we've got two three attacking duties that I can set off whenever I use inverted fullbacks on defend. Again, this time I'm using an overlap on the right side because we've got a halfback. On the left, I'm elected not to use an overlap because this volante is going to push forward, so we're keeping this side secure. The inverted fullback on defend gives you a back three wedge that is extremely hard to break down by opposition sides. And if you can do the right thing, disrupting the way they're trying to build out from the back, then you can dominate football manager with the use of this very humble role in the game. I hope you enjoyed today's video. You found these tips useful. Once again, I look forward to seeing you on some of my upcoming Twitch streams. You guys, stay safe, take care of yourselves. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.